In this problem, we're given two functions, f of x and g of x, and we are to find their composition functions, f of g of x and subsequently g of f of x without simplification. So to start the first one, let me copy down the first question, that is f of uh, g of x. So the idea is that the function that we're ultimately applying is the function f. So for example, if I asked you to find f of 5, most students know what that means. It means we're going to apply the function f and we're going to replace all the input variables x with the number 5. That's exactly what we're going to be doing here, except rather than replacing the input variable with a number, we're going to be replacing it with an algebraic expression. So once you wrap your mind around the fact that we're ultimately applying the function f and replacing all the input variables with something, you can start this problem by simply starting writing out the uh, equation f of x and what it does. By definition, f of x uh, is 2 times some quantity squared and then plus 3 times some quantity and then in the end plus 4. So this is the function f of x. We're ultimately to apply that. And then the question is, what are we supposed to be plugging in? Well, the question says to plug in g of x. So some faculty would have you actually be replacing uh, the parentheses in here with g of x, that would give us the question, and whatever you put here has to go here and here. So you would be writing this out as 2 times the quantity g of x squared plus 3 times g of x plus 4. Uh, some people have you write that out, and then the next step is to replace g of x with what it is, that is 4x minus 8. Uh, either way, uh, what I usually have students do is do that right here, just write out what g of x is. g of x is 4x minus 8, so where you see g of x here, I would replace it with 4x minus 8, and the same argument would apply, that whatever goes here also goes here and there. So you're just putting the same quantity uh, there. We're just not plugging in a number. We're actually replacing the input variable x with a different algebraic expression. Normally, we'd have you square this binomial, distribute the 3, combine like terms, but it says without simplification. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, and the next step, I'm basically going to be doing the same thing except the question is reversed. It's apply g of f of x, and I will make a similar argument except the order is reversed. So the argument would be, uh, if this was a number like, g, uh, like 7, then you would all know probably that we are to replace the input variables here with the number 7. The idea is we're ultimately applying the function g. It's just a matter of figuring out what we're actually plugging in. Having said that then, that means you could do the same thing it did before and just write out the function. Uh, the function g of x uh, means to take 4 and multiply it by whatever input uh, you have and then subtract 8. And in our problem, that is f of x. So again, some faculty would have you do the step where you actually put in f of x both here and there. And then in the next step, they would have you do what I'm about to do here on the video. Uh, for me, I just say, well, f of x right here was given to be 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. So you could simply put it in there. So here's me just replacing uh, f of x with uh, 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. And then the same logic applies that if you were to put it here, you would have to put it uh, over here as well. And normally you would be distributing the 4 and uh, combining like terms. But the problem again said without simplification.